Hey everybody, I want to tell you something that cool happened today, and it's something that we've learned about, but in a way we've never heard of this before because I just learned something that was possible for the first time today. I was sitting at my computer and Jane comes up to me and says, Hey Daddy, were there any girl conquistadors? And I said, I don't know. Well, why don't I look? And so I googled, I checked, and sure enough, there comes up a very famous conquistador that's a girl, and when it's a girl, it's called a conquistadora, and I had never heard of that before. So I'm going to tell you her story and how she became that way. And like we talked about with the conquistadors, just because they're important, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything they did was good. But it's also still really interesting because she became a really important woman for the Spanish. So here is her tale. So back in Spain, when she was 19 years old, her name was Inez Suarez, and she got married. And a little while after she got married, her husband went off to the New World to explore, and he was a conquistador. Well, 11 years pass, and she's 30 years old, and she has not heard anything about her husband. So she goes over to the New World herself, uh, and, and she finds out that her husband died a long time ago. So now she's in the New World with a bunch of Spanish explorers, and she doesn't have any for her family, so she's by herself. So initially they make Inez a servant, and she's there to help them kind of be like their nurse, get things for them, and really isn't all that important. Well, years later, she ends up falling in love with a conquistador. And his last name was Balvidia. And they're living together. They're, they're, they're married and they love one another. And, and her husband says, hey, I have an idea. We're in South America. Why don't we go make a new city and conquer some Native Americans in the country of Chile? And so she says, well, I guess it's okay. I'll go with you. So they and a bunch of their men, they go down there. And they start to make the city called Santiago. Now, if we talked about it before, and you remember, how do you think the Native Americans who were living around there felt about that? I mean, there's Spanish conquistadors coming and taking their land. Do you think they're going to give it up without a fight? Probably not. So they're, they're in the city of Santiago, and the Native Americans come. And they're like, dude, we want our land back. You can't take it. And the people, the, the Spanish conquistadors, they end up capturing seven important members of the Native American tribes, seven chiefs. And so they ask Inez, they say, hey, Inez, what do you think we should do with these people? And she says, you know, I think we should keep them alive. Because if we keep them alive, we might be able to make a trade and, and let them live if we get to keep the city. So you can already tell that she's kind of thinking of these smart ideas and that she's no longer really a servant. She's becoming more important. Well, the Native Americans did not like that idea that they kept those seven chieftains. So they got all together and began to attack the city of Santiago. The Native Americans had more people than the Spanish and they knew the land better. And so the battle starts. And the Spanish people are losing. The Native Americans are getting their land back, which, which is a good thing. That's good. But all day long during this battle, Inez Suarez is running back and forth, trying to help the Spanish soldiers get up, get back on their horses, heal their wounds, get them water, get them food, do whatever she needs to do to help them to, to keep fighting. Well... At one point in the battle, the Native Americans have pushed the Spanish conquistadors almost all the way back to the gates of the city, and they're about to be surrounded. And those seven chieftains that were captured in the city, 
they start yelling and cheering and they're yelling for their, their friends to come save them. I mean, wouldn't you, right? They're cheering them on. Well, the generals ask Inez Suarez, what do you think we should do? I mean, shouldn't we let them go now? I mean, the battle's almost over. And Inez says, nope, I know exactly what we're going to do with them. And this is a moment that she becomes a leader, but not a very good one. Because what she does is she takes her own sword and kills the seven chieftains herself. And then throws them out into the battlefield. Now this causes so much confusion for the Native Americans. They're like, wait a second, what? Our friends died? What are we going to do? And it makes them so sad and confused and upset that the Spanish start fighting back and winning, all because Inez Suarez did that. Now, she didn't just stop there. What she did was she climbed up on a white horse and said, let's go get them, and rode out and led the men in battle to drive the Native Americans back out of the city. And in the end, the turning point of the battle was when Inez Suarez said, let's kill those chieftains and get them out of here. And later, after the battle, the Native Americans were saying, who is this warrior? She came riding out on a white horse, and we were like, what? Who is this? They thought she was like some powerful being that made the Spanish win. And because of Inez, they were able to save the city of Santiago and actually were able to conquer some more land after that because the city was saved. Now, some of that story might not be true. We've learned about it that sometimes over um, time, a lot of things can become like bigger than they really were. But for one of the few Spanish conquistadoras, one of the few Spanish women who became a conqueror and a leader, she did pretty well for herself, even though she did some pretty wrong things. On, their, on her way to success. So I thought that was a really cool story. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and hopefully I will find out some more new things I can share with you guys. But I um, wanted to share that with you because I thought it was pretty cool. All right. I will talk to you later. Miss you guys. Bye.